Speaker. Uh, the next call is a split call. The Honourable Clayton Cosgrove, <coughs> five minutes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, if you look at Kiwi society, Mr Speaker, Kiwis don't ask for much from their government or from their nation. They ask for a fair go. They ask for a future. They ask and they want some hope, not just for them, but for their family, for the future generations, for their loved ones. New Zealanders know what they are about. The last uh, minister talked about the Prime Minister's statement and the vision and the great words and the great slogans that were in it. She talked, and I wrote it down, about a government that cares. She talked about a compassionate government, sir. But there was one word and one phrase in the Prime Minister's statement that was evidenced today that didn't appear, I should say, in the Prime Minister's statement, and that was the word Katruda. And we had, sir, a display today in the Parliament where members of the public presented a 45,000-person petition. Uh, people sat in the gallery, sir, watching the toing and froing of question time. And they are people, sir, who are fighting for their lives quite literally. We had a couple of individuals come to our caucus meeting this morning to talk about, sir, the fact that in uh, both cases they were effectively told it was lights out. They were not coming back. The go home, as my colleague said, and die was the message. There is nothing that can be done. And, sir, we had people on the front lawn of the parliament, people who have uh, done sausage sizzles, people who have raised money through Give a Little websites on Facebook, people who have mortgaged houses for their families, not because uh, they have a choice to do so, because they have to literally, in the case of the melanoma disease, to, keep, to try and keep their loved ones alive, because the government refuses to fund Pharmac to produce, literally, sir, a life-saving drug. Yep. As Annette King has said, there is no first-line or front-line treatment like chemo or radiotherapy for this disease. These people require a life-saving drug to survive. And this is not sort of, you know, the old green lip muscle sort of magic potion stuff that we had a few years ago, sir. No, these are people who were told go home and die, who funded this medication themselves and are now living today. So when that member talks about compassion and when she talks about a caring government, she should reflect on those folks who sat in the gallery today and who were on the front lawn of this parliament, sir, begging, in many cases, for this government to save the lives of their family. Now, that might sound a bit dramatic over there, but it is a medical fact, sir. It is a medical fact. The Prime Minister talks about aspiration, you know. Well, it's hard to have aspiration if you're dead. It's hard to have aspiration, sir, if your whole life as you move to retirement is about mortgaging your home, going on Facebook to beg the public for some money, uh, going and running galas and other things, because that's what you literally have to do to ensure that those you love who are victims of this awful disease can have their lives saved. And the government and I ask members opposite, how many of those, because I'm told people are dying daily from this disease, and these are people whose lives, sir, can be saved. And I ask members opposite, I ask the Minister of Health, as he says, Pharmac might get some more money. Or well, the Prime Minister says, we'll have to wait and see till the budget. And every day we wait, and every day we procrastinate, or the government procrastinates, so people literally die. So when we talk about vision, and when we on this side, sir, talk about the Kiwi dream, when the Prime Minister talks about aspiration, and when we hear 10 minutes of lofty speeches about roads and all sorts of other infra uh, infrastructure and the wonderful opportunities available to New Zealanders who don't ask for much, sir, those New Zealanders sitting in the gallery and at the front lawn will never be able to exercise those aspirational goals because they may not be here, sir. Government, sir, inherently is about choices. Ministers make choices every day. They choose to fund a flag referendum at 26 million bucks, sir. They choose to fund f chartered schools and Nova pays that fail. They choose all these things, sir, and today is an opportunity for them to make a choice and literally do literally do for those people, sir, save their lives.